We are in 2015. The NEPAD Agency, the Regional Economic Communities, the African Development Bank, together with the civil society organizations and Friends of Africa, and under the leadership of the AU, has embodied the vision of an integrated Africa. This vision is articulated around the AU NEPAD African Action Plan and the Programme for Infrastructure Development in Africa, PIDA, that promotes regional and continental integration through infrastructure development and shared values and principles. These joint efforts have completely changed the face of the continent on infrastructure, agriculture and food security, as well as on gender issues. On energy sufficiency in West Africa, for example, the OMVG Energy Project is effectively covering the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry and Senegal, where load shedding are now history. Water chores for women are now thrown in the good old days with various water and environmental management projects allowing women to dedicate their time on capacity building and on income generated activities. Consequently, agriculture and food security are guaranteed with the development of new agriculture species such as new rice for Africa, Nerika, a new sort of rice that ensures the continent exports its agriculture excess. Communications ICT, becomes easy with the implementation of the submarine and terrestrial broadband such as the UmojaNet and the UhuruNet networks that connects all African countries affordably to one another and to the rest of the world, thus accelerating Africa's digital integration. Moreover, trade and market access have become easier with the integrated continental road network from west to east and south to north and other initiatives such as Africa Rail Project that has paved the way for deeper and improved intracontinental trade. Originally conceived and developed in 2005-2006, the AU NEPAD African Action Plan is the defining statement of Africa's current priority programs and projects related to the promotion of regional and continental integration. Anchored in NEPAD's guiding principles, the African Action Plan aims to fast-track the implementation of Africa's development initiatives, including the Millennium Development Goals. In 2008, the African Development Bank, together with the African Union Commission, the former NEPAD Secretariat and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, were mandated by the African Union to produce a revised AAP with buy-in from all stakeholders, countries, RECs and partners, in particular the G8. Following the validation of the revised AAP in June 2009 in Tunis, the African Action Plan was presented to the Head of States and Government Orientation Committee and the Africa Partnership Forum for endorsement in January 2010. Of the initial 80 priority programs and projects that were originally identified in the revised AAP, the abridged AAP report comprises 23 infrastructure projects and two gender programs with an estimated net resource requirement of 9.3 billion US dollars. It is necessary to fast track the implementation of these projects through the preparation of a short term priority action plan by ensuring that their financial closure from now until the time when these projects will be rolled out. In addition, some of these projects are also included in the priority list of projects in the Championing of Infrastructure Projects initiative. The delivery of these projects and programs identified in the abridged AAP report will therefore pave the way for a successful implementation of a common African priority infrastructure program such as the Program for Infrastructure Development in Africa. These priority projects are strategic to the objective of realizing the sustainable socio-economic transformation of the continent. Yeah. 
After the launch in January 2011 by the NEPAD Head of State and Government Orientation Committee, the African Action Plan as a precursor to PEDA with regards to the infrastructure projects component will be used as the cornerstone of Africa's engagement with African stakeholders and development partners in order to accelerate the progress of its priority programs and projects for the successful implementation on a sustained basis. There is a need to engender an advocacy process through a series of roadshows, workshops and conferences with key stakeholders such as the regional economic communities, countries, civil society organizations, both in Africa and outside of the continent, as well as development partners to seek the requisite buy-in and ownership of the AAP Priority Action Plan. The vital phase of the roadmap will be the investment roundtable for resource mobilization for the AAP Priority Action Plan with partners and donors. The AUC, the NIPAD Agency, the Africa Development Bank and the UN Economic Commission for Africa will develop a common strategy to engage partners at the level of the Infrastructure Consortium for Africa, ICA and the G8. Finally, the declaration by the Head of State and Government at the AU Summit in February 2009 underlined the need for all stakeholders to work together to accelerate the pace of implementation of the AAP will soon become a reality for an integrated Africa rather than a dream.